Hello everybody, good morning, good evening, good afternoon. I know yesterday we went over a few things that you can do to clean up your PC, get rid of files, get rid of background services, and fix up all of those types of things. Now one thing I did want to mention, which is a recap from yesterday, that's the MS config here. I just wanted to revamp this here and hit hide here and I wanted to show you guys that these should be unchecked everything should be unchecked to not be running when your PC is starting up and all that means is that for example with something like Steam here if I go to open Steam it's going to ask me if I would like to install the service when it does this, it is not installing anything, it is just reactivating that service that you have cancelled. Do not worry about it too much. If you go to cancel things and stop services and you start having errors like that, just re-enable everything for your own peace of mind if you don't want to deal with it. So now that that's out of the way, today I'd like to talk about how you can free up some extra space on your PC. And by free up extra space, I mean deleting things from beginning to end that you may or may not know are there. So the first thing we need to do to give our PC optimal space is go to add or remove programs. And we are going to delete everything in here that we do not use or that we think we might not use or things that come with windows that we don't want. What you will do is you will leave everything for Microsoft alone because at some point you probably had to install that to have something work properly. But you can delete things like Phone Link and Cortana and 3D Paint and all that stuff if you don't use it. And if you need to on an app that you cannot actually uninstall, you can turn off running at login and you can turn off background app permissions. This is a great way to make sure that your PC is not running a bunch of extra stuff and this is also a great way to make sure that your PC has some space free. We will continue with removing things to free space but I would like to mention the holy grail of fixing problems is honestly to reinstall Windows. I know a lot of people do not want to do that. I know it takes a lot of time. But if you reinstall Windows and you select to remove all the data from drives, disks, and everything, all your files, so it doesn't save anything, and you reinstall Windows that way, it is going to give you your best chances at removing everything that you don't want on your PC. So now that we've done that, and we've deleted a couple things there, you'll see I have two drives here. By default, C drive is Windows, and my D drive is just my Steam. And that's all that's on my D drive. So for the purpose of this video, for the sake of today, I will know that we don't need to go into my D drive, because those are just games on Steam, and I have tons of space on that drive. I'm not worried about it. My D drive... For the sake of my own system, I don't need to clear any space yet. But for the sake of everybody else, that's exactly what we're going to do. So let's start by clicking on your C drive and going into Program Files. In Program Files, you will find a bunch of stuff that you have downloaded that did not make it into the x86 program files. Epic Games, I play Fortnite sometimes. Pretty much everything here. I can see that I use at some point, and some stuff you just can't delete, like this Windows stuff, you just can't get rid of it. So I'm going to actually keep all of this stuff here, because I do pretty much use all of it. So now let's check out our x86 files. And again, I play games that have anti-cheat, I have Epic Games, I have iRacing. There's nothing here that I don't play or that I don't know what it is. A big part of this PC stuff is to know what is on your system and to know that you put it there 
and to know how to get rid of it. Vulcan RT is the only thing I don't know what this is in here. I actually do not know, so I will go to Google and I will type in Vulcan RT. So this is a program that appears to help with things that are running in the sense that this is supposed to help manage your hardware. And for me, I don't know where or when this was installed. So this is a perfect example of something I am going to just go ahead and hit delete. And after I delete it from there, I'm going to go ahead and go to the recycling bin. And yes, I do want to delete this. Yeah, see, that's interesting. This is a whole other program of some sort. So anyways, I got rid of that. I'm going to do some more looking into it. I don't know if I'll need it. But that's an example, a perfect example of, hey, I don't know what this is or where this came from. Let me just do a quick search and see if it's from Windows or somebody else, and then I'll get rid of it, and if I need it, I'll get it back later. No problem. So that's pretty much it there. And again, we can delete the temp folder here. And the next big thing that we're going to do is we are going to go into our app data folder. So I am on mic and we are going to go into app data right here. This PC, local to see, users, mic, app data. If you do not see app data, which is very possible, you need to hit view at the top and you need to check hidden items so we can see hidden items. The first time accessing this folder, you may need to type percent app data percent in your Windows search bar to access said folder. So now let's go into app data and let's go into local. And what you'll see here is now we have things for every game I have ever played or every file I've ever downloaded, this is the ultimate thing where you can mess things up for yourself, you can delete entire game saves off your PC and ruin your game, but this is also beneficial to know. So I'm going to come through here, and I'm going to go for example, I don't play Battlefield 5 or have any intentions on it. Delete. I don't know what CD Project Red is. I actually do with the Cyberpunk creators, but that's an example of how you can just look to see what is in here and what is going on. So personally myself, I don't re uh, recommend deleting a lot of stuff from here unless it's things that you know that you're not going to be using. I don't know what this is either. It's got some kind of save game data I'm gonna delete it anyway home 2 I don't know what home 2 is I'm just going to go ahead and delete it now you're gonna hear me going oh you don't know what this is why are you deleting it I know it's nothing crucial to my PC because you open it up and you see that it doesn't say anything you know important in there like I don't know what this is some kind of cache so I'm gonna delete that placeholder tile logo file folder thing delete that and eventually you're just going to come down here and delete all of the stuff that you don't know what it is or things that appear to be harmful 
whatever it might be for you. Temp folder, delete that. Can't delete it. Open it up. And we're going to take a look to see what's in here. So all of these temp files, even though it's not really anything at the end of the day, we're just going to delete all that. No big deal. And we're going to go back to recycling bin and everything that you delete, you have to make sure to delete it out of the recycling bin. So this, this method of deleting stuff, you know, you start with your programs and your files, you start with add or remove, you go to your folders, you start to delete everything off your folders and you go to program files, program files, 86, you go to your user data, you are going to free up space and you're going, to, if you've never done this before, you're going to free up a consistent amount of space for me. I'm not going to receive a lot of free space here. I am not going to get lots of space. Where I will get lots of space is if I go and delete all these videos that I made. My C drive is my Windows operating system and my video content and any programs I download. My D drive is only my games. So that's it for today. Another video on optimizing your PC and regular PC maintenance, deleting files, and finding where files are to delete. As usual, obviously there's going to be things I missed in this video, or I didn't do, or there might be another topic, and there's always going to be people going, hey, you missed this, hey, you missed that. Don't worry about it. <clears throat> comment that I missed something, comment what you feel I should do. And I will do it in the next video. I will go over things. It's no big deal to me. The more information, the more feedback, and the more the community puts in together, the better video content that I can create for people that need help. So with that being said, that's pretty much the end of the video here today. I just wanted to go over some free, quick steps like that and show you guys how to remove some space because I do know there are people out there that have had issues removing space from their system. Have a great day, everybody. Stay gaming. It's not about what you got. It's about how you set it up.